Hello guys and good morning from Manali. So we are heading back today to Rewadi and it's about 3.45 a.m. in the morning. So I want to be on the road by at least 4, 4.30. That's the plan. Packing up the stuff behind and getting ready to leave as soon as possible. See you guys on the road. All right, so we are set to head back to Rewadi. Bikes are all packed up. Idling to warm up the engine. And we're ready to roll now. By the way, it's 4.48 on the clock. Let's get going. Stay was wonderful. And it is 17 degrees Celsius here in Manali right now. All right. Alright, so we just passed through the first toll plaza on this road. Another 604 kilometers to Rewadi. Alright, so we have covered about 40 odd kilometers from our stay. And the roads have been pretty nice so far. Right now the road has deteriorated slightly. I hope we'll get on to better roads soon. Alright folks, so we have covered about 70 kilometers from our stay in Manali and we are passing through a pretty bad stretch of road. The road conditions are pretty bad and also the truck traffic has started now. This is making it a little more challenging. You can very well see the road conditions out here. It's really sad at one place there are amazing projects like Atal Tunnel and on the other hand the basic national highway conditions are this poor too much variation in the quality of roads that this country offers I hope this is taken seriously in the years coming ahead and all the roads get back in proper shape it's very risky and challenging to ride on these kind of roads with so much traffic and a loaded motorcycle so the road to the valley is pretty beautiful but the bad road conditions are not letting me enjoy the view of the valley it's actually very beautiful the river down there i don't know the name of this river though if you know please shoot down in the comment section i would like to know i could not see the name of the river on the map as well so yeah that's how it is and uh, 76 kilometers 75 kilometers done we want to take a break since a very long time our communication system has also discharged so we are not connected helmet to helmet anymore so we have to put that I have to connect that to the charger so that we can have helmet to helmet communication again and yeah that's about it the struggle continues i am still hoping that this 3.5 kilometers turn that is being shown on the map uh, provides us with a good set of roads um, there are some tunnels being built all around it is it is reminding me of the stretch of udhampur and banihal oh, maybe this is not that bad but then a similar setup tunnels being built and road conditions are absolutely mayhem so that's how it is all right so we are passing through the place called sundar nagar and we are almost 125 kilometers away from the stay where we started today and the road conditions were pretty pathetic as you have seen in a couple of clips and that's about it the roads are now fine at least better than before we are looking for a dhaba to have breakfast and we are practically starving since morning so yeah next stop would be a breakfast stop all right guys so the first uh, proper break for breakfast stopped by a small dhaba beside the highway we just crossed from the nagar 
and we are going to have our breakfast and then we'll proceed ahead towards Chandigarh that is the next destination and from Chandigarh we will touch NH44 that will take us from Sonipat, Panipat and Rewari so this is NH154 at Chandigarh I think we'll touch NH105 and uh, after that it is NH44 so that's about it um, about 135-ish kilometers done and about 150 kilometers left for Chandigarh so that's the update so that's the yummy breakfast samachar aloo paratha with a big chunk of butter let's get going all right so another beautiful bridge and we are heading towards bilaspur another 20 22 kilometers from here and then we'll head towards chandigarh huh. ever since we crossed kulu the road conditions have been absolutely mental traffic is crazy on the stretch and we are just wishing that we get good roads sometime soon we are on the national highway 205 right now and showing us that we are going to divert on to 105 soon i think that's going to happen we got some good roads after about 230 kilometers with some really good roads greenery all around and we are about 40 kilometers before Chandigarh and uh, all right so Chandigarh is another 16 kilometers and uh, we have reached a place called Kharar all right so we have to head down not take the flyover because this flyover will take you to Chandigarh and we have to take a right towards the airport road all right so we are on the airport international airport mohali on that road and uh, we have to take another right turn at about five kilometers from here so basically it is taking us out of the city to avoid all the hustle and bustle of the city roads are amazing all throughout in punjab land city the most land city of india which is chandigarh it still looks so planned although we are not exactly inside chandigarh we are still in the outskirts uh, the traffic is also pretty well managed and uh, yeah that's about it we'll quickly cross this area and uh, proceed towards Harewadi. So we are almost outside Chandigarh and proceeding towards Ambala. The roads were super awesome inside Chandigarh. It just took us not more than 15 minutes to get past Chandigarh. That planned a city Chandigarh is. And now we are on the National Highway 205A proceeding towards Ambala. Alright, so we are near Panipat and we have to take a diversion towards Rewari after Panipat. The road, the highway straight goes to Delhi and we are not going to Delhi. 
we are also not going towards sonipat because there is way too much traffic today on this highway it's pretty crazy out here it's so we are going to get down from this highway and about 11 kilometers that is the distance left to get down from the nh44 we have just crossed the panipat toll so panipat is on the left hand side it goes inside from the highway on the left hand side all right guys so we are on the rotak highway and we have already gotten down from the nh44 and uh, we are on the nh709 that takes us to Rivari via rotak and tutor all right guys so we have and uh, just stopped by for some water break uh, had some water had some cold drinks and we are now set to uh, gun towards Gwalior it's pretty hot and humid here about 38 degrees on the on the dashboard so yeah so far so good the traffic of Uttar Pradesh is crazy so very bad accident on the way but don't want to spoil my mood thinking of that so yeah that's about it pushing forward all right so the phenomenon of cattle on the road has already started as we are nearing Gwalior it's gonna be a same scene throughout Madhya Pradesh as well so we are approaching the Gwalior city and we are gonna take the outer ring road for Gwalior which is gonna be on the left the NH44 itself is the outer ring road for Gwalior we don't want to hustle around with the city traffic and hence we are taking the outer ring road all right guys so we are uh, crossing Gwalior by the outer ring road like I said and we are heading towards Jhansi. The destination for the night would be Sagar. So another 330 kilometers left. And, uh, and it's about 5 p.m. in the evening. We want to make use of the daylight as much as possible. The bikes are parked over there. And uh, it's just a roadside dhaba uh, that we have stopped at. We want to grab some quick dal and roti and then start back again. So time is the main issue because this area I don't believe uh, is very safe for night rides so we want to cover as much as distance possible during the daytime so that's about it let's get going and have the food and get get started again all right so we grabbed some quick food and we are set it's 5 35 p.m. It took us about 35 minutes to have the food and now we are set towards Jhansi <coughs> Repairing work going on, sun setting on the right hand side, and we're proceeding towards Chasi. 320 kilometers to Sagar, that is the total distance. Alright, so we are about to cross into Uttar Pradesh. I can see on the map it says Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. So the RTO check post just went past, and there was a lot of truck traffic, so we took the left lane and we escaped all the traffic. Jhansi straight, Shivpuri right, Sagar right. Alright, so we are taking the right turn towards Sagar and Shivpuri. This is the junction.
So we are entering Madhya Pradesh again and Sagar is another 70 odd kilometers, 75 it says. Alright, so we have entered Sagar and we are heading towards our stay for the night. Uh, this is the road that leads to the stay, it's about uh, 1.8 kilometers uh, from this location. Alright guys, so good morning, good morning from Sagar and it is about 9 a.m. in the morning and I had started working uh, because my office is going on. So yeah, uh, laptop is here, I'm working and also some yummy breakfast has arrived. So I'm gonna have the breakfast, in fact we are gonna have breakfast and we'll start for Nagpur at around 3 p.m. in the afternoon and uh, the distance is not much about 400 kilometers so we would be reaching Nagpur by uh, 10 or 11 p.m. so that's the plan for the day so let's get started and finish this breakfast looks really yum see you guys all right so uh, this was the stay and this was our parking for the night the bikes all ready that bike is also ready we're done with the billing part and now we are heading towards Nagpur it's a beautiful little, it's a beautiful place to stay uh, the name is Kuborvatika in Sagar and the weather is nice it's not very sunny right now the time is 3 17 pm in the afternoon and it's 34 degrees Celsius right now it's a little sweaty out here uh, would be fine once we get moving so yeah that's about it let's get started for today's ride so we have about 424 kilometers to cover ETA shows 11 11 p.m. in the night <clears throat> let's try to cover that up as soon as possible like yesterday we'll try to finish that up before the ETA so it's quite a big uh, resort kind of a thing Alright, so the board shows Nagpur 396 on the right hand side, that's the road we are heading to and this is the highway. you can see welcome into the Madhya Pradesh border so basically we are leaving Madhya Pradesh and entering into Maharashtra right so this road leads to the stay which is Vindravan colony pretty outskirts of the city isolated roads Good morning from Nagpur. So just met two of my friends uh, who came here to meet me. Thanks for coming and meeting me here. So yeah, we're almost set to leave for the day. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and let's get going without wasting any more time. All right. So this was our stay for the night in Nagpur, and we're all set to get going towards Hyderabad. So it's home run now. Bikes are all ready and warmed up i'm gearing up for the last 500 kilometers that's about it let's let's get going you can see a stadium out there don't know which stadium is that because there's one more stadium in Nagpur, which is inside the city 
not sure which one is this one so we should be touching the highway in the next 500 meters i can already see the highway right in front of me So typical Telangana roads, amazingly laid, uh, no cattle, nothing, no issues, uh, doing good speeds, so hoping to reach uh, on time, let's see when do we make it till Mitchell or at least when do we make it to Alright, so our last uh, stop and uh, we'll have some snacks and chai and then we'll push off to our respective homes. Six thousand three hundred and seventy six kilometers. All right, guys, so I am back home and it's around ten fifty and uh, got quite a bit of rain on the way. So that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for following along the series. Hope you liked it. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And also, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. So I'll just get up and get freshened up. See you guys soon again with another new video. So bye, take care.